Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello. My name is Mika. Thank you so much for stopping in. Heart to heart, marry the man who helps to strengthen your relationship with God. Now, this is for people who believe in God, who are curious and want to get a relationship with God. Marry the man is on that path because what we all know is that the wife is supposed to submit to her husband who submits to God. So if you marry the man who is leading you to God or who is encouraging you and to continue your relationship and your walk with God, you know that you're in a way better situation. You know, your chances of that marriage lasting and being healthy is so much greater than a man who has no relationship with God or could care less if you have a relationship with God or not. Um, someone that I know um, recently got proposed to and it, it was just something about the proposal. Like I haven't felt this feeling of joy, this feeling of excitement I'm, as if I was someone who got proposed to because her fiance, her now fiance was not afraid to show her off. Like for one, his social media, he shows her off on social media. Ladies, make sure that you are paying attention to that because I know a lot of us will post our men, but our men won't post us. And a lot of times it is because they have secret lives or they don't want people to know that they're in a relationship. So I know women can do that to men. So I'm just saying, mostly from what I've seen, I have even associates who are going through this where their man isn't about the right but they're constantly posting about the man and the man's not posting about them but you know we get that you know if someone's not if someone is afraid to show you off regardless of what their gender is be leery so he always showed her off he was proud of her he was proud to be in relationship with her he was thankful to be in relationship with her he also was in church and she went to church and it wasn't like, I'm not trying to say it's a fairy tale from church and, you know, if you meet the man in church, everything's going to be perfect because, no, they did not meet in church. Let's get that clear. They did not meet in church. They actually met online. But it happened to be that they both were in church, you know, and it wasn't like they, they were living holier than thou or nothing like that. They just went to church, you know, and um, showed their interest in having a relationship with God and so God seemed fit that that was they were obviously meant to be married and he, they're two strong people and they their relationship is it's a lot different like they're young they're younger than I am but it's just something about their relationship is just different you know when God's in it it's hard to explain um they probably don't even know what I'm talking about but I just know and so fast forward, um, they've been together for a little while, not that long at all, but they, they've been together. They've been striving, you know, doing, starting to go to church together, um, just building, you know, helping each other, parent their children, like step parent, cause he has a child and she has a child. And so they just came together as one, you know, and it was just up from there. Well, he, again, like I said, he wasn't afraid to show her off. So he not only was not afraid to let all her family and her friends know that he was going to propose to her and set everything up where she had no idea that this was going to happen, but he also did it on the day that they both got baptized. Like, tell me that that's not a man of God. Like, in my opinion, I mean, I could be wrong, but from, at least he's trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are things that a lot of us tend to overlook. Like this man did not want to get married until he was with a woman who was willing to submit herself to God as well as he submitted himself to God. And so after they got baptized right in church, in front of the church congregation, um, in front of her friends and family that he invited out, he proposed to her. She had no idea. So new life. In both ways new life because she gave her life to Christ and then new life because now she's going from girlfriend to fiance and getting ready to plan her wedding and something so beautiful about it is that she didn't ask for a lot she's just a humble girl you know she loved her man and it was just that and 
he got her this beautiful ring. And I know it's not about that and all this, but I'm just trying to say, when a man truly knows that he wants to be with you, ladies, you don't have to beg him. You don't have to, oh, I want this ring. I come look at my vision board and see what I want, what I want my wedding to be like. She was never like that. It's just, she loved him, she cared for him. And because he knew that and he knew her taste, he, he gave he gave that to her. He knew that she always wanted to be proposed to in front of her friends and family and just, you know, be surprised. And he gave that to her. A man knows, ladies. A man knows. You don't have to coach him into how to propose to you, how to be with you. Like, a man who wants to be with you is going to study you, just like you're going to study him and learn him and, and how to make him happy. He's going to do the same for you. But back to what I was saying, marry the man who is willing to take that walk with you now they're on a new path together they're both newly renewed in god and they they also have uh, become members of the church that they both attend together now so it's just so much like set your marriage up on a, a healthy foundation you know stop wondering about how much money they got how fine and sexy their body look um, how big the wedding is going to be, you know, how many people y'all know so y'all can have this elaborate wedding. Make sure that you're paying attention to the things that matters most, which is your relationship with God, because this life right here is temporary. And I would rather marry the person who wants me to be, to go to heaven and wants to be in heaven so I can see them again one day as well, than marry the person that is lost and confused in this world. Because this world is confusing because it's Satan's world. And so sin, of course, confuses you. We think like, oh, it's normal, you know, for a man to not be in church or a woman to not be in church. And that's, you know, that's what you want to believe. You know, I believe you can. You can have a relationship with God and with Jesus without being in church. But I also believe that the strongest relationships, the strongest connections, the strongest way to build your faith is by being in the house of God. Just like when you went to school to to learn how to do certain things and to get your degree, you went to school to strengthen your mind and your education and your knowledge about that subject. So it's the same when it comes to Christ and the same when it comes to our Father. That's my opinion. Now, that to me signified a lot. And it showed me because I got to times where I started being like, well, maybe I'm asking for too much because I would love to have a man who is in church or a man who worships God. Like, it's that important for him. Not only himself, but his woman has a relationship with God before he would even decide to marry her. It may sound harsh to some people who don't want to do it, but to me, I think that's beautiful. I think that's perfect because now that they're on the same page, She's going to strengthen him and follow him because he's following God and because she's willing to go to church and willing to serve God with him, that's going to build their marriage and keep it strong. And in the same for him, for her, he's going to continue to, to lead her to God and continue to support her in whatever it is that God is calling her to do. And that's what I feel like marriage is about. We forget it's not about you and me. It's about you, me, and God. And so if God is supposed to be in that, if God is, still, is supposed to be the center of our union, of our covenant, then we need to keep a relationship. We need to both be on the same page in walking with him and praising him and worshiping him and coming to him in prayer and, and asking for help and asking for strength to, for our, our minds to be strengthened so that our flesh doesn't overtake us and ruin our relationships, our marriages. So I just wanted to say all that to say, I thought it was beautiful. And I think a lot of us should learn from that. I should take something from that because you don't want to just be out here marrying people just because they look good or because they got money, because that those marriages don't last. But once people have God at the center and their focus is on God and having a relationship with God, even if they're just, they're new in the walk, but they're trying. Those are the people you be you should be trying to marry, especially if your heart desires to have a relationship with God. Don't ever try to marry the worldly man that doesn't care about church, doesn't care about God, doesn't care about religion, none of that stuff. He just wants to live and have fun because you are going to dismiss your desires just to keep your marriage afloat. And it's going to be so much harder when you don't have God in it. 
I haven't been married, but I know I watch and I learn and I study marriage. So it's, it's just so much harder. Even with just my life right now as a single woman, it's so much harder when I try to push God to the back burner and do what I want to do on my own. My strength and doing things on my own is nothing compared to God's strength when I do things in according to his will and his calling for my life. So imagine me and someone else with the same mindset in a marriage. We'll be phenomenal. But you think about what I said and, you know, congratulations to that couple. Y'all make sure that you're getting married for the right reasons. Know what marriage is about. It's a, it's a big deal. It's not something to play about. You can't just, oh, I'm bored, I'm tired of you, I'm just going to walk away. It's, it's you're supposed to be, you have to be in that marriage for God. You, you guys are coming together to work and, and to work towards your purpose and to get things done according to the way that God is calling for you to. And your union is to make you strong. That's the purpose of it. It's not for the sex. It's not for the money. It's not to take cute pictures. It's not for the wedding. It is for God. And you two are supposed to use your lives together and push towards, push through all this that's going on in the world, all the naysayers and all that, and continue to strive towards building that relationship with God and living out your purpose. So marry the person who encourages you to build your relationship with God or to continue having your relationship with God, but strengthens it. Y'all let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment box below. All I ask is that you're polite and courteous because we're not here to be rude and disrespectful to each other. We are just here to hear one another's opinion. And this is my opinion. So let me know what you think. You can send me an email or put your comments in the comment box below. We will keep the conversation going and talk next time. Bye.